guys so i know it's already time for another chit chat but this is not your typical chit chat i'm only going to be talking about a couple of things an update on family life and you know what's going on and then the simone biles jonathan owens interview so again disclaimer you hear it my child is on the phone with his cousin. So, so we know you guys. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to give my, giving myself a scalp massage. I blew out my hair. It's already, it shrunk. Look, the shrinkage is real, but look at the volume, volume for days. So I'm going to rake through my hair. I have my oil mixture here and just gently massage my scalp. So y'all know how I do this. I talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on YouTube and what I'm watching on TV. But for this particular video, I'm going to be talking about what's going on in my personal life and what I'm watching on YouTube. Okay. So this child is so loud. I'm gonna be combing through my hair, you guys, as I stated, trying to be careful. Um, my mom just left today and baby, who Lord, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Even though, look, by nature, I'm an introvert. So in the mornings, I really don't, unless I have to, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not talking to people. I really don't wanna to talk to people. I talk when I need to. Um, <clears throat> but Billie Jean, aka my mama, she was up at six o'clock wanting to talk. I mean, have not not even talking like where's the sugar, where's the cream, or like remember that time when? And I'm like, ooh, and I'm like, ooh. I was like, let me go get my nails done. <laughs> so we go get my nails done. Look, isn't this pretty? This the index finger is a bit off from what I thought it would be, but it's okay. It'll work. Hold on, y'all. So I'm gonna keep detangling my hair because it's a little, a little kinked up. So yeah, y'all, she just loved. But we went out to eat. We had breakfast this morning, which was nice here locally in Forney. And it's so cold today. It's like really, really, really cold. Um, and my ends are okay. Look, I actually have been keeping up with my ends for a while, y'all. You can see that here. I mean, yeah, it could be a little bit better, but it's actually better than what it has been. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and add this oil. So, yeah. And um, besides that, oh, that feels good. I'm now going to take my hands and slightly massage my scalp. Oh, that feels really good. Woo. Hold on, y'all. Mmm. Look at that hair. <laughs> Talking. So besides that, that is it. Nothing else is going on. Uh, it's cold. You know, I'm going to go. I'm going to pull my hair back out because I'm getting hot now. It's cold. I'm going to go visit my family here in a couple of more days. Is that gray hair? Ooh. I got them out. I got her out. It's like 10 more there, but that's okay. So, y'all, I'm going to put that back like that. We're going to go ahead and jump into it. So, a couple of days ago, Simone Bowles' husband, Jonathan Owens, did an interview with the podcaster Pivot Podcast. I don't know their names. I'm not going to mention them, but it's called Pivot Podcast. Like that. But Jonathan Owens plays for the Green Bay Packers. And it was basically an interview of, about what's been going on. And he was talking about how basically how he was under, undefeated. Girl, I don't know, underdeveloped. Again, I don't know much about uh, sports and football, which is sacrilegious being from Texas. But I don't. I will admit that. There was like a couple of minutes in the interview where they're talking about his famous wife, Simone Biles. I saw little clips of it because people have taken little clips of that video and they are reposting it and resharing it on every platform on social media that you can think of. The first time I saw it, the interviewer was like, hey, light skin. 
And Jonathan uh, was basically like, I'm not really light skin. I'm like a caramel, light caramel. I mean, so it's that bit of colorism thing. And, and I, I want to correct myself because I think I did mention in the, um, I had shared on my community page a picture of the couple. And I did mention, so the colorism really wasn't coming from Jonathan, but the interview was just so cringy. And I'm going to say this too before I even go down the rabbit hole. And this is just an advice for anybody who is married, getting married. Please try to keep people out of your marriage. Even more so. First of all, you're going to have people asking you about your marriage, even if you're not a celebrity. But if you're in the spotlight as a, as a celebrity, people are going to be coming for you, especially if you're newly married. And I don't know if they, have, they don't have a PR person or what, but he went about that interview in the wrong way. Even if he was kind of sort of you know, joking about it, trying to be, you know, humorous and be funny. This is, this is not the time to be funny. And it wasn't, nothing in that interview was funny to me. I said, keep people, keep people out of your marriage and have someone, you would think by now, especially if he's an NFL, NFL player, that he would know better, but clearly not. So girl, let's just get right into it. So the number one thing that kind of, had me side eyeing him. The person doing the interview was basically like, how did she pull that? How did she pull a Simone Biles, you know? This guy was like, how did, how did I pull, how did she pull me? I'm the prize, let me tell you something. I want to also add this, that Jonathan believes that men in general are the prize. He states this in the interview. So it could be his homeboy in a relationship or a marriage. He believes that his homeboy is the prize. Does he then believe that men bring more value? I have a problem with this. I also have a problem with women thinking they are the prize. In my opinion, Jonathan is very feminine. I'm just going to say that he exudes feminine energy. If anybody, and I'm going to say this, man or woman, says that they are the prize, that's a red flag. I was so embarrassed for her. And she's sitting there smiling. But they apparently met during COVID and they were on some type of, I don't know if this is for high rollers, um, dating app where you had to go through and you had to basically prove that you are who you say. Like I can't go in there and say I'm Christina Aguilera. <laughs> I can't say that. They're going to check me and, and check out my Instagram. And they're going like, to, that's Vivian. That's not Christina. So you can't do that. Like there's a certain process to go, to use this particular um, dating app. And so she signed up for it. He signed up for it. She sent him a message and reached out to him. I have a problem with that too, but I'm going to get into it later on. I have a problem with that too. I'm just telling y'all the story. And they started dating, hanging out. Then he says, you know, I didn't know who she was. But then I checked her and saw how many followers she had. And I'm like, wow. He made the reason why he didn't know who she was because he wasn't watching gymnastics. They didn't have a certain type of um, uh, network or whatever, channel, wherever he was at. So he didn't know. He was in high school or something. So, he, girl, I don't know. But he didn't know who, who she was. But I'm thinking, you are an athlete. Simone is an athlete. Even if it's even if it's not in the same sport, I should say, you don't know who the heck Simone Biles is. She was everywhere. She was on social media. She was in. A, you don't watch the news, Jonathan. I, I'm gonna be very. I'm gonna be a little crass, but I'm I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna clean it up some. I think. That I think that she was to a point she was stigmatized. He probably laid it on her. She reached out to him. First of all, I'm not reaching out to no man. I don't think she necessarily chased him, but the fact that she reached out to him, and I can only imagine, she, I don't know if this is true or not, she sent him some revealing pictures. And if this happened during COVID, they probably got tested. He probably put it on. I'm just being honest. He probably put it on her. So her resume is impeccable, more so than him at the end of the day. So I hope she has a prenup. I, I hate to say that. I hope she has a prenup. And I am not wishing ill will on anyone. I just really don't see good things in store. And it's so sad that she does not see this for herself. Um, and perhaps she does. And she doesn't want to acknowledge it, but she she better, come on, you better have a prenup, child. Also in the interview, he stated that he wasn't sure because he's afraid to commit. I appreciate his honesty. I don't think he's ready for this. 
for a marriage with anyone, let alone Simone Biles. I don't think he's mature enough for someone on that level, one and two. And let, let me just cut cut it out. He's not mature enough for anybody on any level. That's just, that's just is what it is. A part of me feels sorry for her, but the way that she came back and clapped back and was basically like, leave my man alone. I'm like, girl, you... <laughs> Because you know he going to put it on you later on. That's probably why you're saying that. So he makes it seem like she's lucky to have found him. It's not like he's lucky to have found her. Or we are lucky to have found each other. You know, Because again, I feel like if she had said the same thing that, hey, he's lucky to have found me, I would have felt the same way. Whenever someone puts, it's almost like Jonathan puts himself up here and he puts Simone down here. No, let's not do that. They are not equally yoked. And whether that be on a spiritual level, whether that be on a mental, um, we ain't gonna talk about the money because I'm not looking to see people's pocketbooks, but they are not on the same level intellectually. These NFL players are don't have the greatest record. They don't have they don't have the greatest track record. They don't. They don't. How many people have stayed married long term? Just not just just normal people, let alone a celebrity, let alone an NFL player at that, and they're married more than five, eight, ten years. But let me know what y'all think, y'all. I know this was just a very quick video again because I posted that picture in my community tab, and I was just so embarrassed when I saw that interview, and the fact that she was there and kind of cheeses and cheesing. And oh, by the way, also she kind of interjected herself when he was trying to her, her husband was trying to retell the story of how they met, and she had to correct him on some things. And I'm thinking. It hasn't been that long ago. So, all right, you guys, that is it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.